Hey, it's Monday, so you know what we do around here on Mondays. We check in with Lauren Merkel and see what's going on with Merkel Retirement Planning. Hey, Lauren, how are you? Good morning, Lou. I'm doing wonderful. How are you? We are doing great. Now, we are going to talk about something here today uh, to get people all caught up when it comes to retirement. And we really mean get people caught up, right? Yeah, we sure do. We have some good news for those who turn 50 or are 50 and above. It's a happy 50th birthday celebration because now you can contribute more. You have catch up contributions to your employer plan. So we're talking about your 401ks, your TSPs, your 403b plans, but then also your individual retirement accounts. You have catch up contribution eligibility as well. Right, and they ratchet that up after the age of 50, like you mentioned, and really try to stress how important this is to add that little bit of extra for your retirement. Yeah, it really is. For the IRAs, you can contribute an extra $1,000 per year, and for your employer plan, an extra $6,500 per year. So if you just look at it over from a time frame of 50, age 50, all the way up to 65, it's possible that that could add up to an extra 140, even $150,000 of retirement savings, just taking into consideration those catch-up amounts. Right, but it's still important if you are over the age of 50, and you said 50 or beyond, uh, if you're not retired yet, you really want to let people know it's a great idea to add that extra money, isn't it? It really can be a good idea, especially you know for those who are in their 20s and 30s, it's hard for them to save in a meaningful way. That's what people tell us. In their 20s and 30s, it was hard for them to, to meaningfully save for retirement. And a lot of people really don't start saving until their 40s, maybe even late 40s, early 50s. And so this catch-up contribution is designed to do just that, allow people to catch up and, st and stash a healthy amount away for this day when they're not going to have income coming in, but they still want to support them themselves, they still have a lifestyle, and then that lifestyle is going to be funded by whatever it is that they've been able to save. Now, is there any one that you would select? You said there's a couple of different ways you can contribute to the catch-up contributions, uh, the individual or the employer plan. Is there Which one do you, do you uh, kind of lean toward? Well, the real value of the employer plan is you get the free money a lot of times with your employer. If your employer matches, that's a good thing because that is free money. But the other good thing about the employer plan is it allows you to contribute a lot more towards your retirement savings than the IRA. As an example, if you're age 50 and above, you can contribute up to $26,000 towards your, your 401k plan or TSB or, or 403b plan. The IRA, you can contribute $7,000. So the, for the employer plan offers you the ability for a higher level of contribution, which means that you can put more money away for your employer or for your retirement. But if you can do both, then that's a good thing as well. How difficult is it for most companies uh, to increase the amount that you're saving through the employer? Yeah, for the, the employers themselves, it's very simple. It's already written within their plan. It's just a part of when they created the plan or amended their plan, it's already a part of it. So for the employees, it's also very simple. For most plans, you can just go online now and you can set an automatic contribution step up, which means every year it'll increase your contributions by 1%, 2% automatically, or you can take advantage. There's usually a button that you can click online that says you want to take advantage of the catch-up contribution and then how much of that catch up you want to take advantage of. So the whole thing is really a, a, a hands off turnkey type scenario for most employees. That's a great idea. A great idea is to have a chat with uh, Merkel Retirement Planning. And we're going to tell you how you can do that here in just a little bit. But we also want to tell you about something coming up this week for the first time in a long time, a very special lunch and learn coming up. Yeah, since early 2020, this is our first in-person lunch and learn, Lou. So we're excited about it. We're going to have a lot of fun. But we've also added something new to the lunch and learn. We're going to broadcast it. We're going to webcast it. So for those who can't be in our office here to take advantage of the in-person lunch and learn, you can still consume the content because we're going to be talking about the three distinct phases of your retirement, the go-go years, the slow-go, and the no-go, and specific strategies that you should be looking at implementing, like in income planning, tax planning, long-term care planning through each one of those phases as well. So this is Thursday at noon. It's very simple to sign up for either one, the in-person or the webcast through MerkelPlan.com. Uh, that sounds like a great idea. If you're in the area, folks, you really want to, if, if nothing else, you want to check out the facility. It is so awesome. <laughs> Make sure you do that. But if people want to get more information about what we talked about here today or sit down and have a conversation, is it that easy to go to uh, MerkelPlan.com and, and make an appointment that way too? 
Yeah, through MerkelPlayer.com, you can sign up for the live events we have, but you can also sign up for a complimentary retirement checkup phone call where you can just talk with a retirement planner about anything you're thinking about retirement-wise, and we'll try to help you out the best we can. Laura Merkel, great job as always, and we'll talk to you next time. Wonderful to see you, Lou. Have a great week.